Bible. I am what it says that I am. I believe what it says to believe. I come to the Lazella Pentecostal Church to be taught the Word of God. I will not serve the devil. I will not live in sin. Jesus Christ died for my sin and the blood of Jesus cleansed me from all sin. I am Christ-like. I am born again and I afternoon and thank God also for Apostle Phelps and I thank God for all the ministers of the gospel thank God for our pastors and our sister pastors and thank God for the husbands and the wives and I just thank God for the deacons and just for everybody being here and I do want to say to those of you who are watching the Pentecostal Revival Hour. Amen. We thank you for watching this broadcast and we thank you for all of the donations that you send to this ministry, all of your gifts, your time, and your offering. It only goes to further the gospel Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I am so thankful for you thinking about us Amen. because you couldn't do it if God didn't allow you to do it. And I thank God for allowing you to support us Amen. with your time and your offering. Amen. And I want you to know it's highly appreciated. I do. Let's give God a hand of praise. I do thank God for all his rich blessings. Praise the Lord, all the letters, all the calls that, that we receive from those of you who, praise God, listen to the broadcast, those of you who watch us, those of you who record us, and those of you who care about us. Because we're so thankful to have people to care about us. And tonight we're going into our message, and the title of the message is God is Love. Amen. The title of the message is God yes, yes. is Love. You know, God loved man so much that he made it in his own image, in his own life. And God put his word into man. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. The Bible says in St. John 3 and 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believed in him yes. shall not perish, yes. but have yes. everlasting life. Right, he did it for you. Yes. He did it for me. Yes. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I have received yes. everlasting life. Yes. People, it's all about the Lord. Yes. You know, I was just thinking how God began to let us know just like he loved Jesus so much that he gave him for our sins. Now God knows what the results were going to be before it happened. See, a lot of times we don't know what the end is going to be. But God knows what the end of Jesus was going to be when he sent him 
into this work. Amen. People, this is tough. Amen. When you know when you're sending your only begotten son into this world, and you know how the world is going to treat you, you know it before it happens. But because of love, we sent him anyway. I said because of love, God sent Jesus unto us. And for Jesus to do what he did, everybody ought to love Jesus. eternal life. Amen. And those of you that are watching, if you don't have it, you can get it. It's free. All you have to do is just give up your sin. And if you would give up your sin, God will save you from all your sins. God will save you. God is love. Now, since we know God is love, yeah. he's going to put it back on you and I. Yeah. We going to have to love yeah. one another. Yeah. God love is stronger than death. Yeah. I'm talking about the love of God. I ain't talking about that love that some people have. Yeah. Yeah. They have that love for a little while and that love be gone. They tell you they love you for a little while, that love don't last. But the love that I'm talking about is everlasting. It lasts forever. The love of God don't give out. The love of God don't give up. The love of God is real. It's real. This ain't no fake stuff. It's not no put on stuff. But the love of God is real. And it'll save you. Jesus loved us so much that he went on that cross. I mean, people, it was tough. He stayed on the cross. Because he had you in mind. He loved you so much. That he said, I got to do this. We're going to be speaking to you from 1 John, the fourth chapter. Amen. And we're going to begin reading at the seventh verse. Amen. 1 John 4 and 7. All right. And it reads, 1 John 4 and 7. Amen. Beloved, uh -huh. let us Love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loves is born of God. And knoweth God. You see what it's saying? Call up, be loved. We sang a song about we be loved. Y'all remember the song, Be Loved? We are the children of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, or we shall see him as he is. Beloved, let us. See, Jesus done already loved us. God done already loved us. Now the ball is in our court. We're going to have to love one another. He ain't asking us. This is a command. God commandment is that we love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loves, you see that E-T-H-O name? Is born of God. And know that E-T-H again, God. 
Amen. For he, he said, he that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. And this was manifested, the love of God toward us. Because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. That we might live. I'm talking about on this earth here. Through him. Here now. Who is he talking to? He's talking to me. He's talking to you.
the 12th verse. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us. Because he has given us his spirit. He given us of his spirit. Now if God gave you his spirit, you don't have no devil spirit in you. Not if God give you his spirit. If you got the devil spirit in you, you have not accepted God. You can't have both of them. You can't have the spirit of the devil. And it ain't but two. You either have one or the other. I don't know about nobody else, but I don't have no spirit of the devil. I have the spirit of God living in me every day. I live until the Lord calls. I don't know when it's going to be my last day. You don't know when it's going to be your last day. You don't know when it's going to be your last night, but you know he's coming. Every day, we're one day closed. So I don't know about anybody else. I'm getting on the first load. I'm getting on the first load out of here. I'm not going to be left behind. I'm getting on that first load. I ain't taking no chance. That's reading I live right. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. And God in him. Mm -hmm. Dwelleth me to stay. Right. It ain't talking about no visitation. Right. 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 You know, in places in our country today, we got places you can visit. That's right. You can go there and then you can leave. That's right. But God ain't got no place you can visit. That's right. God said, if you're going to be mine, you're going to have to stay with me. Amen. Just like a husband and wife. Right. Ain't no man married to no woman. Right. And she's going out there and visit somebody else. Right. Ain't, no, ain't no woman married to no man. And he come out, he going, I, I'm going on vacation. I'm going over to see Sally too. I'm going to be old Sally soon next week. I'll see you when I get back. Ain't nobody going to put up with that. God ain't going to put up with you. Playing with the devil. God said, if you're going to serve me, you, I got to have all of you. Can't be shared. Husband and wife, y'all can't be shared. You can't share. Right. It doesn't matter how old you get, right. how much you change, right. how wrinkled you get, right. how slow you get, right. how stuff start falling, right. you still can't change. Right. Right. Betray but you don't trade people in. If your mom is old, keep your old mom. If your mom is young, keep your young mom. That's what God did. Now we were babies. And now some of us ain't babies no more. And every day we get older and older. And God still loves us. He's not going to trade us. He tell the devil, you can't have. That's my property. And you can't have my property. And people, we 
y'all be careful. We can't let the devil win. God is the winning team. You can't be flirting. You can't be cheating on God. Don't you know he jealous? Some of y'all ain't God and y'all jealous. Then you know you ain't God. But you jealous. We can ride down the road. Looking, looking over there at your husband. Now you're white. And they know they better look straight. <laughs> better not turn their head. Because if they do, you're going to see it. And you all know what they're looking at. What you looking at? I wasn't looking at nothing. You better say you wasn't looking at nothing. <laughs> you want to keep your head? It'll get knocked off. <laughs> People ain't real. And you gonna look at all that, that devil, God knock your head off too. God won't know what you're looking at him for. I'm here. And everything I got is good. And good looking. And then you looking over there at the devil. You got to be careful. Let's read on. Here he is. In the 17th verse. As our love made perfect. That we may have boldness. In the day of judgment. Because as he is. So are we. In this world. There is no fear. In love. Yes. But perfect love cast out fear. Amen. Because fear has taught me. He that fears is not made perfect in love. Amen. He don't want us to have no fear. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Amen. But power. power. Love. love. And a sign mind. That's what you're supposed to have. And you're supposed to use your power. When time comes for you to use your power, use your power. And if time for you to stand strong, stand strong. When the devil come up against you, you stand strong. Why? Because you got the love of God in your heart. It's dwelling in that. It's standing there. You're going to do what's right. You're going to treat God like you want God to treat you. Amen. And you're going to treat people like you want to be treated. Amen. You can't go around here and mistreat people and then say you say. Yes. Go around here. Amen. Telling God what you're going to do and what you ain't going to do. Amen. You can't do that. Amen. Jesus, God, he over you. Like your pastor. You don't just get up and go doing what you want to do in the church telling the pastor what you ain't going to do. Don't call me. I ain't going to do it. Do what you told me to do. Over them that they had a rule over you. They be up night watching out for your soul and praying for you while you sleeping and snoring. I know you don't like it, Amen. but I can't help it. Right. Right. You, you got to cast that fear out. Because right. you got perfect love. Perfect love casts out fear. Amen. People that have fear have taught me. You can't let folks make you have fear. Amen. Right. I don't care who it is. Right. They can't make you have, let them, allow them to, to let fear come into you. People tell you what they're going to do. Let them do it. Yes. Go and do what you got to do. Because God's going to do what he got to do. Yes. And God ain't going to accept nothing but righteousness. Yes. And holiness. Yes. All the days of our life. Yes. We can't go gallop 
backing all, backing up like a dude. We can't do that. We got to live holy. If you got the love of God in you, you're going to be holy. It's holy from the beginning and holy till the end. He said, you can follow people with all me. But holy never die, no man shall see the Lord. Thank God don't let you see him. And he done sent his son. And his son done gave his life. And he know what his son was going to go through before he sent him. God know what Jesus was going through before he sent him. He know that he was going to be beaten. He was going to be hanged on a project. God knows all of this. But he's still sinning. Because of love. See what love will do. It'll do it for you too. Girl, love will change your mind. And we got to love one another. I got to love you. I don't care what you say. I'm still going to love you. Oh, I can't make it to heaven if I don't love you. On the way I can get in, I got to love. Yes. And ain't nothing you can do that make me stop loving you. Yes. I don't care what you do, I still love you. Yes. I don't care what you say, but I don't pay what folks say, no attention, no how far I grow out of that. Yes. You serve God long enough, you it won't bother you. Yes. You, you, you. You grow out of that. Yes. You, you ain't going by what nobody say. God don't go, go by what we say. God go by what we do. God said, now y'all love me, y'all keep my commandments. That's what he said. We love him because he first loved us. If any man say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen, how can he love God whom he never had not seen? That means you got to love everybody. You got to love people who are not lovely. You got to love mean people. You got to love hateful people. You got to love people that talk to you and people that don't talk to you. Yes. You still got to love people that speak to you and people that don't speak to you. People that treat you right and people that don't treat you right. You still got to love them. Amen. Jesus wasn't treated right. But he stayed on the cross. Now he could have came up. And he could have fought back. Some of you can fight back, but don't do it. Don't lose your crown. Don't lose your everlasting life. Ain't nobody work your everlasting life. Let God fight your battle. See, when Jesus went back to be with his father, what did God do? God set him on his right hand. So, hey, you sit out on my right hand. Yes. And everything that you give up, That's right. I'm giving it back to you. Yes. See, with God, you can't lose. Yes. See, Jesus had heaven and everything in him. Yes. But he gave it all up and came down here because of us. Yes. But when he did what God, his father told him to do, he went back. He got everything back he lost. Yes, Amen. Streets. Yes. Made out of gold. Yes. Yes. In the big house. Yes. And all of them other houses in the big house. Yes. Jesus got it all. Yes. And he said, now they're not waiting on us. Yes. And when you come, I got something for you too. But you're going to have to love me. Amen. Amen. And you love me through loving one another. Yes. I'm talking about everybody. Amen. We got to stop this shucking and jiving. Amen. We got to get on this bandwagon and we got to stay. Yes. We got to stay put, people. 
20 verse, verse 3. And this commandment have we from him. That he who loved God loved his brother also. He who loved God loved his brother also. Now what you going to say about that? But you don't love your brother, you don't love God. People, we got to love one another. The Bible tells us, and I want you to look at this quickly. I'm almost done. In St. John 13 and 35. This is what he said about us. St. John 13 and 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another. Everybody gonna know it. Everybody gonna know when you have love. Everybody gonna know when you don't have love. Everybody gonna know when you're real. And everybody gonna know when you're not real. Because if it ain't real, it's not going to last. In order for it to last, it's going to have to be real. It's going to have to have a seal on it. That job got to be sealed. If that job ain't sealed, it ain't going to keep it. You open it up, it ain't going to be right. You're not going to be able to use it. And God can't use us either. If we ain't got that Holy Ghost seal, yes. we got to be sealed with the Holy Ghost. Yes. See, the Holy Ghost gives you that keeping power. Yes. The Holy Ghost going to lead you and guide you. Yes. That Holy Ghost going to bring all things to your remembrance. Yes. That Holy Ghost going to tell you when to speak. It's going to tell you when to be quiet. Yes. It's going to tell you when to get up. It's going to tell you when to sit down. Yes. People, the Holy Ghost is real. Yes. I am so thankful that God gave me the Holy Ghost. Because it comes with power. And everybody needs power. And our last verse is St. John, turn on over to the 15th chapter. St. John 15 and 13. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. That what Jesus did. Jesus laid down his life. He called us friends. He gave his life for his friends. And if you're going to be a friend of his, you're going to have love one another. Amen. Amen. You might not like what everybody do, right. but you got to love them. Right. You might not like everything they say, right. but you still got to love them. Right. And I know ain't nobody in here, nobody watching this telecast, going to let anybody steal your everlasting life. Amen. You're going to love him anyhow. Right. You're going to love him because it's the right thing to do. Right. You're going to love him because you commanded to do it by God. Yeah. Yeah. God told us that we got to love one another. Yeah. Right. And if we got anybody in here tonight can't love one another, you need to be talking to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You're going to ask everyone to stand. Yeah. We're going to pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we told your people what you said, Jesus. How you are love. God is love. And Lord, those that are watching this telecast, we're praying right now, Lord, if they don't have love in their heart, we ask you to put love in their heart, Jesus. Because you said in your word, we got to love one another. Yes. And by this, Lord, you said, all men don't know that we are your disciples. Yes. 
when they can see that we love one another. God, we know love can be seen. And we thank you, Jesus, for giving your life on the cross for our sin, that we could get out of sin, and that we could love one another. Those of you that are not saved, you can repent. You can ask God right now to save you from all your sin. And God will forgive you for all that you have done. And he'll give you a new life. He'll give you a new outlook on life. And we are asking in Jesus' name. Let our hearts say amen. 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 And amen. You may be seated. Again, we thank God for you. We hope you got something out of the uh, message. We got people God is love. And we got to love one another. And we can do it. God is not going to tell us to do something that we can't do. So if we're not on the bandwagon, let's get on this bandwagon. And let's love one another. Those of you out in TV land, we got to do it. We got to love one another. We can't let nothing or nobody stop us from loving one another. And if we would do it, then heaven will be our home. Let's give God a hand of praise.